So I also just picked up this machine. And I said also because I picked it up with that, which I think the jukebox video will come out first. Do not know. If it doesn't, that will be cut out and you will never see it. So go check out that video. <laughs> but as you can see, not sure too much about it. It has, says Pathfinder there. I found similar ones online that have similar designs here from the 30s to 40s. So it's not the newest. These fluorescent lights are definitely aftermarket. They're not mounted OEM. Also, a lot of this stuff isn't mounted. This lot just is just sitting here. So I'm missing some hardware. This is here. It's not quite set up right, but picked this up. I didn't actually plan to pick this up. Person's just like, yeah, I got that. 50 bucks, you can have it. So <laughs> picked it up, obviously. Runs on dimes. That's pretty cool. Haven't seen a dime machine yet in my collection career. So, got a cool dime mech. Not sure how much we'll be able to see in here. It's got a do more motor. This runs the uh, Pathfinder piece that moves and pushes the prize. Which I guess I should explain how this works. Basically, I'm putting a coin. This part spins. This is not actually hooked up. That is a part that's missing. The motor is here, but the part that drives it's not. Here, let me show you. This door rubs a little bit. The motor's here, but the piece that goes from the motor up to the top here is missing, so that'll be half the custom made, because I highly doubt I'm going to find the part. But this would spin, and then when your prize gets to where you want, you hit this button, this arm would move along here. I can't move it because the motor's geared. Up here, and hopefully drop your prize down in. But probably not, because the game seems like a scam. <laughs> but... We got a bunch of the mech there. Don't think you can see any of it. We got some more of the stuff down there. It's pretty similar to pinball machines I've worked on from the era, so... Well, actually, I've never worked on a pinball machine this old, but... 70s pinball machines. Well, no, electromagnet pinball machines. Pretty similar. You got the pull down door to get your prize out. It's pretty cool. I think it's been painted because this does not seem like a stock paint job. And all the ones I've seen online are wood grain, so... I think it's been painted, but yeah, some broken off wire, so it'll be a fun one. Worst case scenario, it's not that difficult to get running with an Arduino, but obviously I want the original hardware working, so I'm going to try to get that working. But yeah, I picked that the same trip as this. This is actually what I went for, but then I found this bad boy there. But yeah, there's no anything on it. There's nothing on it. The only thing you can find is the Pathfinder there. Just says pool in the front, there's no stickers on the inside, besides for one that says to oil it. So, it's pretty interesting, it's obviously not in great shape. Wood's coming up down here. Actually, it's not actually right there. Back here it's coming up. So, it'll obviously need a lot of work. But, it's the fun part, you know? I can do body work. The difficult part's gonna be getting the gear to mash up with this. I would say 3D print something, but I don't know if that would hold up. If it would, honestly, probably what I'll try first. Because I don't particularly... I actually do technically have stuff I could make a gear, but... I don't have the knowledge to make a gear. So, I can make one in CAD. So, yeah. Probably just going to 3D print a gear. Hopefully that'll be strong enough. I think it should be. I think PLA is probably going to be strong enough. Just 100% infill. Once that oiled up, it should move pretty easily. But yeah, that's this cabinet. Probably gonna get it cleaned up. Actually, you'll probably get the electronics working first and then I'll get it cleaned up. Because I obviously wanna have a working unit before I make it all shiny. Some wires are randomly just cut off, so that's dope. But I don't trust plugging this in with a 20 foot fucking pole. This is a random plug that was laying in here. The main plug actually goes outside, so I'm not sure why this is here. It goes directly to these two wires, that goes directly to the bloody button. So if you plug this in and push the button, you're shorting both AC lines together. What the hell was the point of this? What? It's just such a sketchy mess. Not to mention, sadly, looks like we might be missing some stuff down down on this side. There you go, they have light. But all the wires over here are cut, all the wires over here are cut, so this whole thing is going to need rewired and just redone. 
I have a feeling since these are cut, we're missing something. Unless somebody rewired it and made it different. I don't know. Honestly, it would be pretty cool to just... That seems sus. It probably shouldn't turn so easily. Oh, the motor seems there. Uh, no. I don't know, that motor... You guys, let me see. I can't see with my eyes. Yeah, that motor's fucking missing. Wait, actually. You weird. Well, that's... motor might be there. It looks like it's there. So, I might build... Oh, I would love to make it EM. I don't want to make it, like, run on Arduino. I want to keep it old electronics, because that would be fucking dope. Still have been unable to find any other ones that say Pathfinder here, so still not sure much about it besides for it's a rotary uh, merchandiser. But I haven't seen any other ones with Pathfinder, so that's dope. Got this out so I can get that gear. I'm going to try a 3D printing gear because honestly I think that'll be strong enough. Because that'll be a hell of a lot easier to make than one out of metal. Though, if worse comes to worse, I can get one made out of metal, so not the biggest issue. Most pain in the ass is going to be getting that, the gears to mesh right, because that's a fucking science in itself. So, that'll be fun, but yeah, that's where we're at on the 30s, I want to say, rotary merch merchandiser. So, yeah, pretty freaking cool. Do I just glue this stuff back on and try to, <laughs> try to glue it and pinch it on? Or do I just strip it down and residing it? I do not know. So, yeah. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. Okay, so I took part the motor, the do more motor, out of the rotary merchandiser because I jumped it to AC and it didn't work. So, first I put out the brushes. The first brush looks pretty good. Second brush, what the hell is this? It looks like a brush that somebody took the uh, metal wire out of, but the metal wire is inserted on the inside. This doesn't have a hole where one used to be. It doesn't have a hole, so that's really weird. Um, so I honestly figured this was the issue, but I pulled off the gearbox because I figured I'll work on this. Might as well re-grease it and everything. And well, this motor is seized as fuck. I can't budge it, so... That's dope. Also, the grease that is in this gearbox has turned to absolute glue, which I mean, it might not have ever been replaced. And if so, this has a chance of being 90 year old glue. Yeah, the glue, 90 year old grease. So like, your damn. Look at all these chunks of just grease. So I'm gonna have to, I'm just gonna take a break, clean it all this, clean all of this out, Get this back to just not having any of this gunk in it and just completely regrease it. Yeah, looks like I'll be taking this further apart because I cannot budge this motor. Like, at all. Like, I can't turn this because it's a worm gear. Can't twist these gears off of this because of the worm gear. This is just a direct connection into the motor, so I should be able to twist this, but I cannot. So, we're going to be popping open the case here and seeing what's inside. Oop. I need two hands for this. That's greasy as fuck. Um, but the main attraction, this thing. Oh, I can barely turn it. It does actually turn, so it's not completely seized. But holy shit, is that ever stuck? Okay, so I think a little bit of work in that back and forth to get that moving, but this all needs cleaned out. This doesn't look burned, so that's ooh. That might be not good. There. Right here. Some interesting burn marks. Uh, yeah, we're gonna hope that's not important. <laughs> Honestly, we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna just get this thing cleaned up, clean off all of this, make it all shiny again. Or as at least close as shiny as I can get it, and I'll be back. Okay, so I rebuilt the motor, and... Yeah, that's what I'm freaking talking about. Look at that. Easy as pie to turn. Regreased everything in this. This is ready to go back on. Haven't put the brushes in yet, so. But as long as this brush here is good, this motor should be ready to go. 
since I put it back together the rest of the way. So I gotta put in the rest of the end caps and bearings and stuff. But yeah, it's almost done. Okay, so I made a wiring diagram for this. Then proceeded to step on it around 5,700 times. But I actually made this on the computer so I can just print off another one. But it doesn't really matter because I actually got it. There's all the wiring diagrams of this mess. It was mostly that. A couple wires needed changed. So I changed them. Um, this is going to be completely gutted. All these wires are going to be replaced. This is just sketchy as fuck. Like, <laughs> somebody rewired this sketchily. Yeah, actually, I don't think I updated you guys. This has been completely rewired since it was original. It's running a Gottlieb transformer. And I noticed these are marked with an H, and this one has a Y, like pinball machine. This was rewired with pinball machine parts, so that's kind of cool. Uh, sadly, would have liked the original electronics, but this works. They're kind of the same time period. Electromagnets, so. But after a stupid amount of work, finally got this in here working right. Uh, sketchily mounted because I could not get this thing to stay stale with their stock bolts, so I had to kind of questionably drywall it, but I will fix that. Don't worry, that's not staying like that. But the only thing now, I ended up fixing the hydraulic damper. Apparently there's a hydraulic damper here, so this drops down lightly. So I fixed that. Sadly, this beam, there's supposed to be a little model piece that curves off so this thing can lightly slide down, but sadly that's snapped off. And sadly it snapped off on me. Um, the previous owner must have been bending all around because it was already mostly snapped off. Because literally just the weight of this was bending it on me, and I'm like, okay, that's dope. But <laughs> for now it works. Had to do a little bit of modification. The hydraulic damper would not hit it right. I don't know if this shit's custom or what. I don't think it is. It's definitely not custom, obviously. But, like, I don't know if it's not for this machine or what. But I had to custom this hydraulic damper so it actually hit it right. I noticed there's some random stuff over here that goes to nothing. There's hydraulic damper here. Don't know what any of that does. None of this is useful. I don't know why it's here. There's some AC lines going up, but like this goes to nothing. This is not needed at all for the machine. This is just pinball stuff <laughs> that I don't know why they mounted down here. But it doesn't. It's not necessary, so I'll probably rip all that out since it's not original or anything. But it's actually working right now, kind of. Obviously, the spinny thing doesn't spin because I don't have the spinny thing to spin the. I actually have the spinny thing, but I don't have the thing to spinny the spinny thing. Uh, but, <clears throat> so powered on. Uh, let's try that again. Powered on. There we go. Fluorescent light turns on this one, obviously doesn't because it's not out right now, but then, over here, the coin switch. The coin switch is hit. This motor starts spinning, the one that would spin this thing. Then, you hit this button, and you just have to press it in for a second. So yeah, it works. Works pretty well. The only issue is, it's not landing on top of this like it should, because it's missing that piece that would guide it over a little bit further. So it's dropping it off right in front of this and not landing on top. But we got this. We can figure that out and get a new piece there. It's pretty simple. But yeah. This motor shuts off when you hit the button. Now, I'll probably end up gutting out all of these electronics and rewiring the entire thing. But, you know, you do what you gotta do. I wanted to make sure I had the stuff to make it work before, you know, I went all out and redid the entire cabinet. Now that I know it will work, I'll probably work on getting this thing up to there and get a 3D printed gear probably to spin that. So, yeah, it's coming along. Oh, look at that, like, ghost effect. I need to clean my camera lens. Holy shit, there's so much oil on it. Okay, so it's been a few days since I last worked on this thing. Um, everything, it's now electronically working. Um, everything's working down here. I ended up moving this motor up here because it wasn't even mounted with the original mounting stuff anyway. And it just made it a whole lot easier to get everything lined up with the gear. So, that's better. 3D printed gear's working great. Hasn't, haven't had any issues with the fifth revision. <laughs> but it's actually fully functional. Uh, now, the problem I'm having this button, it's keep coming apart like this, so a button might have to be replaced. I really don't want to, and if I do replace it, I have to replace it with something that looks at least time period correct. So that'll be fun. There's a lot of junk laying in here that doesn't belong like that, and 
branch and some yellow stuff over there. And down there, all that stuff's gonna be pulled out because none of that is necessary to run this, so that's great. Then, yeah, up here, I ended up refelting this because I had felt. This isn't quite the same sheet of green, but it's close enough that I think I'll stick with it. It looks great. We felt it everything. It's looking great. It works. The soda machine just kicked on behind me. That's another project I'm working on. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. The only thing left, really, is I'm going to rewire it because that's some sketchy-ass wiring. And I want to wire in the original power switch that I found, which is down here. You probably can't see it, but there's actually a old light switch down here that powered on and off. So I want to wire that in. It's not wired in right now. And probably just rewire most of this because this is sketchy electrical taping. Some of it I did, most of it the previous owner did. I'm not sure how much is soldered underneath those that electrical tape. So probably strip off the electrical tape, re-solder them if they're not even soldered. And then probably heat shrink tubing, hopefully. But yeah, it's coming along. Then we gotta do the woodwork, obviously. But yeah, the electrical side, it's working. I would show you it working with the new felt and everything, but my extension cord is being used on the soda machine. So here's the clip of it working a few days ago before I refelted it. Boom. Yo, fuck, I didn't expect to get that.